आजकल खबर पे आपका स्वागत है मैं हूँ श्वेता रंजन और आज हमारे साथ हैं एक जाने माने परकशनिस्ट यस अ यंग म्यूजिशियन बिलोंगिंग टू द लेजेंडरी फैमिली कैरिंग फॉरवर्ड द लेगेसी ऑफ भारत रत्न सितार मैस्त्रो पंडित रवि शंकर जी a popular percussionist ratul shankar is on the show today with us it is, it is an honor to have him on the show uh, welcome to the show ratul can you hear me i would like to extend a warm welcome to you ratul shankar ratul aap tak meri awaaz nahi pahunch pa rahi hai main chahungi ki aap ek baar connect kare humse ratul can you hear me hamara sampark ratul se nahi ban pa raha hai aaj mausam jo hai wo kolkata mein bhi barish ka hai aur yahan delhi mein bhi aisa lag raha hai jaise mahol barish ka hai to ho sakta hai internet connectivity jo hai uske karan de pata rahi hai तो जैसा कि हम ये एक सीरीज चला रहे हैं वर्ल्ड म्यूजिक डे स्पेशल सीरीज है ये और इसमें कल हमारे साथ थे बर्नार चम्पल्स बर्ग हमारे साथ वो जुड़े थे लंदन से और आज हमारे साथ जुड़ने वाले हैं रतुल शंकर कशनिस्ट और उनके साथ हैं मैनाक नाग चौधरी मैत्री दास पे और अभिषेक मलिक इलेक्ट्रिक सितार पे रतुल कैन यू हियर मी नाउ यस यस कैन यू हियर मी Yes, perfectly. बहुत अच्छी आवाज आ रही है आपकी uh, so nice to have you here on the show. Namaskar. Namaskar. It's an honor for me. It's really an honor for me to be here this evening and to be able to talk to you. Uh, Ratul, um, Hindi English mix करके बात करें. जी जी. I'll. Okay. मेरा हिंदी कुछ थोड़ा डरावना भी हो सकता है कभी कभी. Oh, but I'll try. Okay. इसलिए मैंने. I'll try my best. I'll try my best. Definitely. So I will try to uh, be, make you feel comfortable. Do not worry. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, since you belong to a family which has uh, seen legends, not only Pandit Ravi Shankar ji, but uh, then your mother, your grandfather, and uh, you know so many, and they are all unique in their own ways. Belonging to a family of stalwarts, where. Um, Do you think it comes as a pressure on you? Well, uh, first, what I would like to say, I think, what is most important is that, I, of course, I take this entire thing as a blessing. You know, the, uh, the pressure or the expectations these come much later. Uh, to begin with, I would say that it is indeed a blessing because uh, you hardly, I don't, I, I, I don't know. Uh, there must, there could be probably very limited. examples uh, where i felt when i was growing up that i was surrounded by mountains on all sides and if you if you start with my grandfather uday shankar ji and then uh, pandit ravi shankar ji and then my grandmother amla shankar ji so that was one generation the next was then again uh, my uncle anand shankar ji and my mother um, mamta okay. shankar ji and my father chandrodaya ji so that has been so Uh, it of course when we when i think of all this and what uh, we have to uh, present and go through of course to an extent it is a huge pressure but the fun part is from our family if and especially from my family we've never been forced or made to realize that you know you are born in this family and you have to do this and you have to be that we were never ever forced into anything and i think probably that is what helped us to probably achieve the very little that we have in our very own way but we have never been pressurized but of course i know the expectations are huge and that is where uh, i would really seek uh, the blessings and the love so that we can uh, you know at least uh, keep up to it uh, so ratul since um, you are there today on the show and people just want to hear you very clearly and know your journey your life बट आपकी आवाज थोड़ी कम आ रही है इज दिस बेटर सो हाँ दिस साउंड बेटर ओके दर्शक जो है वो सब रिक्वेस्ट भेज रहे हैं कि आपको थोड़ा और बेहतर सुनना चाहते हैं जी दिस इज द क्लोजेस्ट आई कैन गो दिस 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 इज गुड एंड दिस इज थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू श्वेता जी 
एनीवेज सो ये जब आप एक ऐसी फैमिली में होते हैं आपको रियलाइज नहीं कराया जाता है फैमिली मेंबर्स के द्वारा बट देन आउटसाइड वर्ल्ड दे हैव अज एक्सपेक्टेशन हाउ डिड इट कम ऑन यू हाउ डिड यू टेक इट i would say i have been very very lucky that uh, uh, i would i would actually want to start by saying this ki uh, the fact that i am here today and i am speaking to you and then uh, yeah, there might be a few people who would want to listen to the music that we want to present all of this goes to my family uh, the upbringing that i have received and of course my guru uh, pandit tanmay bos without whom i i wouldn't have been able to do anything even if i have attained a minuscule of what i have is because of that man and i think it is through the guidance of such such people around me with my parents and my grandparents and my guru that uh, i was never there was never this uh, pressure pressure kind of thing that you know i have to deliver i have to do this because one thing that our family has always believed in and instilled in us very much is humility is being humble you know the bigger the 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 larger you become in your field the more humble you have to become from inside and that is the biggest sign i would say of our family which has been maintained over generations so that is one thing which was i think uh, made, made which was you know kind of how would i say was instilled into me much before that you have to first be a good human being and then whatever to uh, you go in, because our family has been you know, we've had ambassadors of culture we've been the cultural ambassadors of yes. the country so but i was never forced that uh, you have to either take up uh, music or it has to be painting or it has to be dance no but i think it was the fact that from a very small age i've had the opportunity to travel with my parents all over the world and in i think that has been my best schooling because i i remember when i was in class 5 and there was this long tour that we were going for more than 3 and a half months and my uh, mother went uh, to meet the principal of my school and when she said because she said i have to take him with me because there's no one i can leave him back with yeah. uh, so then the, the reply that principal had given to her was he will learn much more traveling with you around the world than what he learned within the four walls of my school so and i think that has really really helped me a lot then and you, then you must have uh, start uh, must have decided to s- skip school very often after that <laughs> oh yes oh yes but after a certain time i had to and that was another beautiful uh, period of my life when i was staying with my grandmother because uh, at a certain pace you know i had i couldn't uh, accompany my parents anymore on tours because yeah. of the school and everything so my grandmother my who i call dida and uh, uh, she is just 101 years old she stepped into her 101st year yeah. and she is a legend she is a legend so uh, having the honor and the privilege and as i said a blessing to be able to spend so much time with her during my uh formative years in school was was another great experience great experience right so we'll be taking up more questions and if you have any question viewers please write down we'll be including those as well and please send in your wishes uh we are uh, let me include a few uh wishes coming from the viewers currently we have uh, ghansham kumar prajapati and uh, he is writing namaskar shweta ji okay namaste and um विजय शंकर मिश्र जी हैं हमारे साथ लिखते हैं सभी को शुभकामनाएं नमस्कार और मालिनी शास्त्री जी हैं वेरी डेडिकेटेड व्यूअर थैंक यू मालिनी जी नमस्कार रतुल जी एंड श्वेता जी एंड नमस्कार जी थैंक यू सो मच फॉर बीइंग देयर पिल्ले रे हाय रतुल हाय हाय नमस्कार ओके पियाली रे पियाली रे सॉरी ओह शी इज माय आंट शी 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 स्टेज इन बर्मिंगहम शी इज माय आंट हाय पिया नमस्ते 
जी नमस्कार नमस्कार ऑफ कोर्स थैंक यू व्यूअर्स यू कैन कीप सेंडिंग योर विशेस एंड कमेंट्स सो देन वो फॉर्मेटिव इयर्स यू स्पेंड विद योर दादी मोर एंड मोर ट्रैवलिंग एंड ऑल दैट हैपेंड बट व्हाई व्हेन देयर इज सितार इन द फैमिली एंड देयर इज डांस इन द फैमिली एंड एवरीबॉडी इज यूनिक इन देयर ओन वेस Uh, why ratul shankar chooses to do percussion uh, kahun i honestly don't know that myself if you honestly ask me but uh, the way i don't know uh, uh, the way my life has been taking its course from uh, from my school to my college and then later on to when i came to music was like my my biggest idol i would say and my ideal Uh, is my uncle anand shankar and he has been a huge 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 influence in my life yes um at that time i used to probably uh, you know, not like uh, the exercise that i used to give like when he used to do uh, riyaz he used to ask me you come and sit and uh, keep the taal with me and he used to play the sitar and do the riyaz and i used to hated it then because it's really something very boring and i was very young but now i realize that thanks to that uh probably uh, that that kind of that interest that he made uh, me you know get it into me uh, was because of him and then the other person whom i the person whose name will come up every every 5 uh, minutes probably is again my guruji pandit tanmay boji without whom um i wouldn't be, and i think it was that the percussion and you know, that is what probably brought me into um uh, had the good opportunity of learning under him and uh, uh, whenever i you know i try and speak or think about guruji i become very tensed so that's even the first time when um, even sanjeev bhai and uh, he told me about this program i said impossible guruji had come to this show and i can never be on the same show that guruji has been on so it's impossible <laughs> and then he made me understand but then i also thought that that the, the very very little that i am that is because of him so if uh, if i could make him proud in my own way if i think then then there's that, probably nothing wrong with that i would never he he is my guru so uh, i when i'm talking to you i'm still probably shaking inside i'm sure he would also be happy to see you here because uh, sure i'm uh, sure it's that always uh, so nice for a teacher to see their disciples doing good so we have a uh, neveli radha krishna with us ah radha ji Namaskar Radha ji and he writes hello ratul happy to see you after a long time stay happy and healthy he sending you wishes thank you thank you so much same to you radha ji and we have uh, monty sain hi ratul bhai ah hi 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 he is he's one of the techs who's done the miracle of you know making us audible to you and visible to you <laughs> uh, he was always he's around, and I have another friend. Thank you. Yes, Monty, and there's I have another friend whom uh, who himself is again he's a fantastic keyboard player. Uh, we call him uh, Shudipto. So Shudipto and Monty. So thank you very much, both of them, for setting up this entire thing for us. Okay, so let me talk more about your family and how yeah. you have uh, grown. Uh, what what i see is uh, just say uh, world music this word was coined by pandit ravi shankar ji ji we are here today on uh, uh, on a special series on world music day so he was very experimental in his own ways your mother was a classical dancer but contemporary in her own ways um anand shankar ji uh, a fantastic fantastic artist Of and course, experimental course. too so uh, how do you look at it um, um the ex- experimentation part of it and being unique i think that is a very special special that probably a speciality of uh, is like i would say my uncle first of course ravi ji because the the collaborations that we've been hearing for over years i think that is exactly the inception of world music that's where it all started and with um, you know with the greats of musicians and with philip glass and inside the kremlin and then uh, tanamana which was released in 90 and of course working with the best of the you know, philharmonic orchestras all over the world 
i this is my personal feeling i think uh, he was the most successful indian uh, classical musician to have done that with such elan and to make it so successful i think that was the most there have of, of course there have been other greats who have uh, also collaborated with all the great philharmonic orchestras of the world but i personally feel his every project every endeavor has been supremely successful and then after that it was my uncle who from whom this the word like the fusion music and the the meeting of the east and west in india he was the one who first started it um he, of course he had learned the sitar uh, rigorously uh, from his guru but then this is the lane that he took this was the experimentation that he did with his music and he had been extremely successful uh my mother of course she has uh, the classical training she had training in bharatanatyam but then the dance form that we follow that my mother teaches and performs uh, all over the world is the uday shankar style of dance yes which is my grandfather's style and uh, which is uh, the uh, what i have we've realized i have realized from a very young age because i was uh, since i was born from the first or second year i have been touring with my parents and i've been watching performances hearing people talk about it and then the basic belief that uh, we have is that the uday shankar style of dance the, the contemporary dance that we do that my mother teaches in an institution and she performs uh, of course the essence is very the first thing is it is very deep rooted into the india it, it's indian the flavor the entire belief the ideologies everything is indian it is at, there was a time that was thought that oh he he performed with anna pavlova so he took uh, this from her and this not at all he took the essence the uday shankar style that uh, he created is that he took the essence from all forms from the folk forms from the all the classical dance forms but not copied so he that influence exactly is on you as well of course of course of course it has uh, so since since that is since from a very young age i we've been exposed to that our family uh, our generation has been exposed to that so i feel that comes also very naturally um and uh, what i've been also taught and what i've realized by my guru and by my parents and the exposure that i've uh, had the experience of is that we cannot keep boundaries on to you cannot you know bring it into a square be it any form of performing arts be it music dance painting whatever it doesn't have boundaries so it yeah. is bound to mix with other cultures it has to have that uh, it has to be contemporary it has to have a meaning it has to have a message mm -hmm. but it has to be deep rooted in indian beliefs and mythology and culture and tradition so, so that is i think is most important So I am going to tell the viewers that uh, you are sitting on a kahun, and yes, uh, yes. This and is again a very important, interesting. Uh, so I just stopped you. Is interesting because there was a time when I was really going through a lot of confusion in my mind. That uh, I was, I had the opportunity. I was performing with Guruji in his project Tal Tantra, mm -hmm. and I've been uh, performing from two thousand and one, and this is two thousand and twenty. So for the last nineteen years. and uh, in between i have i was going through this phase and i was thinking that you know i am an indian i am from india but i do not play a single indian percussion instrument you know i i used to play the kahon uh, the djembe the congas so it's none of them were indian the ebo or, or the kahunito or so none of them are indian so i used to think that what exactly am i doing because yeah. i was i had realized very early that even if i practice for 24 hours a day i could never ever sound uh, like a south american uh, musician playing the the cajon or the uh, uh, like a brazilian playing the djembe or the pandeiro i can never sound like that because it is not only riyas and practice it is the culture it is the air it is the food the environment so if i go somewhere and live for like 30 years probably i'll get a taste of it but i'm not doing that i'm in india i am an indian uh, but i'm playing all these kinds of instruments so i went up to guruji and i asked him that guruji what should i do should i because i had initially started learning the tabla from him so yeah, yeah. 
but that was a very short period of time and um, so then i used to play these instruments so he said that no i don't want you to play the tabla i want you to play these instruments but incorporate our theory our you know our calculations onto these instruments so mm-hmm. that is going to make it make you different from the others yes so now the fact is even if i'm playing a cajon or an ebo or a cajonito or a djembe whichever instrument i'm playing i am incorporating my own which is indian which is my style right so you know that has helped me a lot and that is again that's guruji who's done that for me so really? never indebted uh, we have rishi shankar upadhyay with us ji how are you this wah namaskar shweta ji and ratul ji really very nice to see you here namaskar ji thank you national khabar and then we have uh, ranajit sen gupta ah uh, ranada thank you my yes. pranam is ranada how are you and um, excellent dear ratul bhai much love as always thank you thank you thank for you. Uh, coming and writing on the show joining the show yes good evening shweta ji he writes that and um, uh, rudrank singh is with us he writes good evening ratul sir good so evening. people are really getting inspired but they must be very getting very impatient as well because when ratul shankar is on the show there should be some music also going on yes yes so we for i want you to uh, introduce two of your uh, friends your co uh, artists and um, yes uh, yes i would i am really 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 happy and more than happy i am thankful and indebted to two beautiful i would say who two beautiful people who are my friends who also again happen to be musicians so the first identity is they are beautiful people and they are my friends and we've been performing together for years so first i would like to invite uh, moinak moinak nag choudhury on the maitri bass this is his own he's made this instrument it's a double neck bass guitar he calls it the maitri bass and you'll be able to you'll be hearing what he's going to play and this is his own design so he's created it himself and uh, you know if i once i start speaking about him i i won't be able to stop because uh, he he's definitely one of the top uh, bassists of our country the musicians of our country is a music producer himself uh, he's a music director and and uh, yeah so and friends uh, what he's saying is and we've been friends for years which is most important so that is moinak I Ratul I love his instrument. Oh it's beautiful. I uh, can you see it properly actually. That's the tone. And he has the chikari so it's 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 really interesting. It's really interesting. Amazing. And uh, of course uh, my younger brother Obishek Mollik on the sitar we've been also performing for quite a, quite a, quite a long time together and he's amazing. Uh, he of course performs with a lot of lot of musicians a lot of our senior musicians he's a regular of course with bikram da pandit bikram ghosh and uh, he's amazing he plays the electric sitar the acoustic sitar and i believe uh, we'll talk less and start performing and probably uh, that that's better the music speaks better this is the centenary year of pandit ravi ji ji composition uh, of his or whatever you plan in okay. that yes we will do that we'll do that this is again uh, of course a tribute to pandit ravi shankar ji and we'll play a small piece a small version from that uh, are, 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 are both of them visible clearly yes yes they are visible i'm going to go off the screen so that they are clearly visible to the viewers all right okay thank you thank you thank you for going off the screen <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> thank you thank you for making this happen thank you so much we having so much fun thank you, thank you 
Thank you. Were we audible clearly? Were it was it okay? Yes, very nice, very nice. Okay. Uh, one thing I noticed during the performance is you have ghungru in your. Yes. Is that is that audible? I don't think that's too audible. Is it? Uh, no. But um, yes, ये मुझे बहुत लगा. Aji, we I, I try to keep that so it's like a, you know adds like a percussion. Yeah. And another very interesting thing is when we play. I don't know how much this is believe, probably believable. Is uh, when we decided that we are going to do this today, and uh, um, we just thought of maybe, of course, one piece is going to be a tribute to uh, uh, Pandit Ravi Shankar ji, and then another piece, uh, which is again very close to our heart, is uh, on based on Raga Charukeshi, which of course is again a raga which was made famous worldwide by none other than uh, Pandit Ravi Shankar ji, and. Uh, we but we still don't know if we are going to play we ha- will have time to play another very short piece but the thing is we we hardly sit and rehearse and play and i think it, the, the, he's laughing <laughs> even him because we and now it's come to a point we don't even look at each other when we are playing so and i think we don't need to and i think it is of course the power of music of indian classical music of world music above all it is the power of the chemistry of friendship that happens in between without that i think it's the mutual respect that we have for each other that comes out and that makes um, the music happen so if even if you've liked it a little bit uh, the entire credit goes to that and nothing else so um, thank you so much for giving us the opportunity uh, to be able to present something to you this evening in such you a way you are seriously so humble ratan you are really no, good no, no. <laughs> Nee, nee, nee. Thank you. That's that's all we can be. So one thing that clicked my yeah. mind uh, while you were playing, yeah. uh, jazz was very popular in sixties and seventies in Kolkata, yeah. and then uh, it was um, a lot of contribution also of Anand Shankar ji. Of course. Yes. Uh, and, um, what elements do you see of Indian classical music in jazz? Um. i think the you know the ideal if i could just uh, probably just transfer my uh, ear plugs to him he would be the ideal person to talk about it uh, can i do that so I, because he 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 is very much into uh, jazz yes much much more than i know understand he he's like he's the guru of jazz when we when anything in jazz comes up so for us between us just turn the mic you can i'll just turn the mic to him and i'll give the This is officially really weird. <laughs> so, we you know um hi yes. Mena, how are you? Hi. I'm so, feeling great that I'm actually meeting my buddies after this uh, the entire pandemic thing. It's it's actually fascinating that I can see other musicians in real life. <laughs> you know, it hasn't happened in it in quite some time. <laughs> so this is great. Thank you for doing this. Yes. So, Venak, the question is: um, Yeah. 
uh, jazz was once very popular in kolkata and then later on it got shifted uh, to um, mumbai and um, during its popularity um, even now what is the contribution of indian classical music in uh, uh, what are the elements that are used in of indian classical music in jazz see you said it yourself you know that calcutta was the hub or the mecca of jazz um, i have personally played we've all known you know jazz greats like carlton kito uh, i mean a lot of musicians in india are actually coming off mr kito including myself the little bit i played with him but see that was also the swing movement or the bop movement but in kolkata what happened later eventually because of you know of contribution of people he's already talked about like anand shankar ji and you know the later generations um, you know a lot of indian classical actually started spilling over to the scene and which is what inspired people like us to take up you know instruments and not be scared of being who we are like ratul said that i'm not from la you know i don't have burgers for breakfast although i wouldn't mind that but <laughs> you know but the thing is that we are different people and um, the music that we play irrespective of the instruments we play should sound like us and i think that's what um, drove me into making this you know hybrid instrument or drove you know uh, obishek into make, you know getting his uh, sitar uh, you know put a pickup so i think a lot of that was our own culture coming back to us and a lot of that is actually the indian classical music i mean say for example i mean this bass the reason why i made this is this you can hear but that you won't get from this <laughs> I'm accident prone and that happens all the time that's why these guys are laughing <laughs> so in my neck yeah so we have many questions uh, in mind and we want to know a lot about your instrument but the uh, uh since time is short so what we'll do is um on the show i am um, requesting you to come one day for a special session sure 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 yes so yeah i'm actually very happy about this session because when i saw the poster i was telling ratul you have another friend of mine uh, mr bono chimpleburger on the show and how i know him that's how tiny this world is is that you know i because of tanmay da uh, because of bikram da because of chitrish ji tejendra a lot of senior musicians that i've actually played in and gurus i've learned from like you know vishwesh ji uh, like shekhar ji so when we travel the world with our music i know it completely leans on indian classical and the first time when i went to england to play with my music my drummer was talis so it's a small world and when i saw the post i was like oh wow that's talis So yeah so like thank you for doing this I'll be really happy to come into your show and do this again but I think for now the best way to know about the bass is to like hear it play in context to how we are doing it so that's that yes. would be the best yes yes of course so yesterday was a brilliant show with bernard it yep. was very nice yes yes yes, <laughs> yes. so anyways uh, let me continue with uh, ratul sure. sure one second In between, I can tell the viewers about the show that we are going to conduct tomorrow with Lars Moller, world famous saxophonist Jonas Johansson, and also Paul Madsen. So, we are going to be on the show tomorrow at seven o'clock. आप जरूर ट्यून करें, आप जरूर देखें, और हमारे साथ इस कार्यक्रम में होंगे एक स्पेशल गेस्ट संजीव शंकर जी. तो ये जो कार्यक्रम हमने आपके लिए अरेंज किया है, ये कोपेन हेगेन से बाकी म्यूजिशियंस होंगे और दिल्ली से संजीव शंकर होंगे एंड द नेम ऑफ द शो वुड बी जैज मीट्स इंडियन हेरिटेज तो कल ये यूनिक शो होने वाला है आप जरूर ट्यून इन करें एट सेवन पी एम तो रतुल जैज के बारे में तो हमने बात कर ली लेकिन जो दर्शक हैं वो मतलब क्या कहूँ मैं आपको लेकिन इसका मतलब ये तो नहीं है कि जो सुन रहे हैं वी हैव लॉट ऑफ पीपल बट जो सपोर्ट कर दे नहीं 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 एकदम नहीं एकदम नहीं जी है ना क्योंकि जो एक ये बहुत बड़ी बड़ी बात है जब कॉन्सर्ट्स होते हैं इंडियन क्लासिकल म्यूजिक के भी तो एक डेडिकेटेड व्यूअर होता है जी जी ऑफ कोर्स सो एक डेडिकेटेड व्यूअर है जो और बहुत सारे जैसे मैं आपको बताऊं मालविका दास वाचिंग लिख रही है शुभो सरकार वंडरफुल Rudrant Singh we want more 
Debalina Karmakar, awesome. Rakesh Bharadwaj, another percussionist, right? Wow, it's a different feel. Love it. So, I see there are people who want to know about you and want to know about your journey and explore more and learn more. So, uh, you were mentioning about uh, Charu Keshi. Why not yeah. just conduct that? Because it is a music day and less of talking day. Correct, <laughs> correct. We'll do that. So, we'll present Charu Keshi. Again, a tribute. So it's of course it's World Music Day, and above all, the centenary year of uh, Ravi Ji. So, of course, this is the next piece. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yes, I'm witnessing from Middle East, Bahrain. Yes, yes, of course, I, I know him. आपने कहा प्याली दास जी बर्मिंगम से बहरीन से दिनेश कुमार जी वाचिंग लिख रहे हैं एंड वी सी वेरी सीनियर कैप्टन अजय कुमार मोहन लवली सो थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू थैंक यू सो लेट्स गो फॉर अ वंडरफुल कंपोजिशन राव चारुकेशी करेक्ट वी विल जस्ट डू दैट थैंक यू Thank you. 
आपको सलाह दे डालू की अब मैं जरा ट्रेन से बाहर निकल जाती हूँ और वैसे भी आप ट्रेन जो है जी जी ऑफकोर्स बिफोर दैट आई वुड बिकॉज आई वुड वॉन्ट अभिषेक टू से अ फ्यू वर्ड्स ऑल्सो बिकॉज इज सच सच अ ब्यूटिफुल म्यूजिशियन एंड सच अ गुड ब्रदर एंड आई जस्ट रियलाइज वेन आई वॉज टॉकिंग सो मच एंड देर जस्ट सिटिंग आइडल वेन ही स्टार्टेड स्पीकिंग आई कुड एक्चुअली अंडरस्टैंड वॉट देवर गोइंग थ्रू सिटिंग आइडल नॉट बींग एबल टू हियर एनीथिंग एल्स हैपनिंग यू नो सो नाउ आई हैव टू He also and me have to go to the same thing, yes, and he yes. has to say something. So I'll just pass it on to him. Yes, definitely, definitely. 
Namaskar. Can you hear me, Abhishek? Can yes, you... yes, I'm, I'm, I'm able to hear you, yes. Okay, so how are you? How have you been? Good, I'm alive. I feel <laughs> that after the lockdown. <laughs> brilliant performance, brilliant performance. Thank you so much, thank you so much. So how does it happen that the chime starts with tabla and shifts to sitar and so brilliant sitarist? Uh, you know, knowing the tabla, learning the tabla is, uh, is very important. No matter what you do, whether you become a singer later on or become an instrumentalist or a dancer, uh, one must start learn his or her musical journey with the tabla. That is what I have felt, and it has helped me a lot because, uh, you know, rhythm is something that is ingrained within us, and uh, if you can enjoy that when we are doing the melody section also, so that empowers the music that you're doing. It becomes more fun, more Direction. Are you able to hear me now? Yes, this is clear. Yeah. There's a bit of an echo. Yeah. So knowing the tabla actually helps you to enjoy the music that you're doing, whether it's an instrumental, vocal, or dance, whatever. I want you to talk a little about uh, Veda. You are a part of, part of it? Yes, uh, we three are actually yes. we from this band called Veda. And in that band, we also have another singer who is not present with us. You're missing him, yeah. Yeah, now, now they're not understanding what I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> Can you talk about... What's that crazy? I can... <laughs> I can hear you, Ratul, very well. So, anyways, so, Veda ke baare mein hum pooch rahe te aapse ki, how did the concept start and uh, what was the motto behind starting Veda? Veda started from last year, actually, you know, during the Durga Puja, we <clears throat> went to perform in Bangalore, a series of concerts. That is when, that is when uh, Ratul, um, Bampida and myself, we came up with this concept of Veda, where we also incorporated a singer who sings uh, great Sufi folk numbers as well. His name is Primang Das. But today, this is not Veda. But today, is, it's not Veda. Yeah, today, it's just the three mosquitoes. We are just performing. That's brilliant, and uh, I would uh, want uh, Ratul to now come up and because yeah. I have to include the dishes that are flowing in from the viewer side. And um, absolutely, I'll transfer the microphone to Ratul. Yeah. So while um, G, Shweta G. So while you three were performing, we had uh, Malaika Mala Malabika Das. Wah wah, she's writing. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, Kungubi. And uh, Subhosh Sarkar writes, Masha Allah, Masha Allah, Masha Allah. Ah, from Bahrain, that is. <laughs> okay, and he says, uh, I call them as uh, great trio. Cheers. Ah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. We have Yoga Pereira writing. Uh, she is from uh, watching from Sri Lanka, I believe, uh, wow. because she's a regular viewer with us. So, um, if I'm correct, Yoga Pereira writes uh, Bliss. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And um, we have, uh, okay, when you were saying, uh, talking about the viewer, uh, viewers, how many of them, whether they're enjoying, whether they're watching, we have. Yeah. Writing, sir, we have been waiting for the show. And uh, Ashutosh Shekhar writes, We were looking forward for this episode. Kya baat hai? Superb trio. Thank you so much. Thank and, you. And so uh, Malini Shastri writes, It's uh, so mesmerizing. We have Malini Shastri with us. We have Sunita Buddhiraja Ji with us. Uh, she writes, Aha, she's enjoying the music. Thank you. Thank and um, Anand Agaya. Ah, thank you. See, that's in a way, again, brings back my ideal, which is Anand Shankar. So whenever I hear that name, that itself brings, you know, a smile on my face. I was going to say that. Sunitaji <laughs> writes, write even most vocalists start their journey with tabla, taki sur ke saath lai bhi pakka ho. About Abhishek, what he was mentioning, she is... Uh, Ji. Uh, and then we have Subhra Goswami. She writes, uh, excellent one. 
and uh, Saurabh yes. Chatterjee. Wah, wah, wah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. It gives us have... more impetus. Lopa Mudra Das Gupta, soothing. So like this, uh, we have uh, viewers who are writing and they're enjoying the show, but I want to tell the viewers that we bring such shows for you every day at 7 o'clock, 7 p.m. So tomorrow in the series, again, we have brilliant artists with us. So do not oh, yes. like the page and um, uh, continue to watch our series on um, World Music Day and many more episodes every day we come up with and series. So you can uh, continue to watch. Uh, also, last question, and then we can uh, do one musical piece and pack okay. up um, sure. about the movies. That what are the new projects? Um, you have been giving music in uh, movies as well. Flat number six zero nine. And um, uh, what, what is new? What is next? Uh, well, it, it it all started with uh, uh, I think it started in uh, two thousand sixteen probably. Or 17, which was the first film, um, was uh, Anthurlin. It was by the director uh, Arindam Bhattacharya. And uh, I think he was crazy enough to give me the opportunity. And I don't know why he was that crazy also. But then, good for me. But Flat Number also is by Arindam Bhattacharya. Yes, yes. Yeah. So that's what I, you know, I always keep telling him. In fact, uh, the, the flat, after Flat Number 609, there's another film which is coming this year. Um, that's called Anthurdhan. And that is again by Arindam Bhattacharya. So I tell him that, please, you know, you got to keep yourself fit and healthy. You've got to live long because you're the only director who gives me movies, you know, to <laughs> score for your movies. So I, I really become worried when his sugar spikes up or his BP goes low. You know, no, I... Maybe, maybe he has found not only a good musician, but also <laughs> an artist who doesn't uh, throw much tantrums. So... <laughs> <laughs> no, but but it was it, it's been a great experience, and uh, the biggest uh, the thing is that you know the, for the first film that was my first uh, it was on Turlin, and um, I was uh, I got an award as the best uh, for the as a debutant uh, music director, so that's also a funny story. So the first year I got that when I was doing six zero nine. I thought that this time there will be other songs to make, but the debutant will not get it. So what can I do now? So I thought, next film mein, I'll sing a song then. So I'll be a debutant singer. So I'll get an award for that. Because, you know, <laughs> but anyway, the second movie also um, got very good reviews and um, it won a couple of awards as well. So looking forward to the third film. Um, and how it goes, hopefully, you know, with everybody's blessings and hopefully if everybody listens to the music, I hope people like it and that's, yes, oh yes. Yeah, so before we pack up, we can just uh, present a musical piece to the viewers so Gee, that... They... We will do that. You see, what, what happens is, uh, you know, when I was first, uh, when you first told me about this show that I would come here, and all the, all the artists, the senior legendary artists who've already been here, and it's a, like a very serious show. The problem with me and us is we cannot be serious for a long time. You know, our inner... No, yeah, no, no. You know? Thank you for coming to the show. At least <laughs> I'm in my natural self. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, because we can't do that. And although the music is, of course, very deep rooted in Indian classical and everything, but this is something which I very, very much feel is at the end of the day, you are an artist. And I am here, uh, Moinak is here, Obishek is here, we are here, we are here to give, uh, hopefully, to give a good time through music. And uh, throughout that time, the more we laugh and smile and uh, joke and uh, say all sorts of things, but keep the music very pure and be honest to that music. I think that is that reaches miles and miles. It doesn't have to be like very, very serious all the time. Yes, but sir. always fooling around all the time also doesn't work. So it has to be a good match. So I think this is again that fusion and that's world music. So it's got to be laughter, love and music happening together. So we'll just, I think we'll do the last piece. Yes. Which, which is the last piece? I and see, I'm so confident. I said we'll do the last piece, but we don't know what, we haven't decided what we're going to play. Okay, so before that, can I just uh, read out to you the message? Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Chatterjee, 
क्योंकि ये मैसेज इंक्लूड करना बहुत जरूरी था कि ग्रेट गोइंग ओके ऑफ कोर्स सौरभ देन दिस मस्ट बी सौरभ चैटर्जी एस सेड हेलो भाई सो ही इज ही इज एन अमेजिंग लैटिन परकशनिस्ट फ्रॉम आवर सिटी एंड वी पफ वी बी ही जस्ट सेड हेलो वन अ क्लावे सो Uh, so we perform a lot together he's amazing thank you saurabh thank you for watching we have anirban ajoy das big fan of all of you keep it up guys anirban ajoy das whom uh, he calls you know he he he's again he's a very talented uh, music composer producer himself uh, he writes songs himself and he's very nice above up on top of everything he's also very good looking so he calls him uttam kumar you know uttam kumar is this actor from kolkata of course who's legendary actor So he calls him. So Uttam Kumar is also there. See, that's good. Thank yeah. you. So, anyways, uh, we, Subha Sarkar writes, "I would be delighted to be okay." We can talk about it. We can read this message later on. Ji. And um, Sora Chatterjee is sending Namaste. Vijay Shankar Mishra ji is there. Sundar Karyakram ke liye Shweta Ranjan aur Ratul Shankar ko bahut bahut badhai aur shubh kamna. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. Vijay Shankar Mishra ji. And uh, let's start with the final piece. जी. World Music Day पे इतना सुंदर इतनी सुंदर प्रस्तुति आपकी दोनों रही है and um, ये बस चलता रहे मैं यही उम्मीद करती हूँ. Thank so, you so much. Thank you so much. Let's try. We'll try. We'll give our best. Let's try. Thank you. 
बहुत ही सुंदर अरे बहुत ही अच्छा लग रहा था सुन के काश ये सिलसिला ऐसे आप लोग थोड़ा और एंजॉय नहीं करना चाहते सुबह तक चलता रहे क्योंकि अभी आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड आई कैन फील वॉट देर गोइंग थ्रू 
they can't they can't hear anything that's happening and i'm loving it <laughs> so these are the challenges jo hame kisi tarah just kare padte hain yes was, yes of course convey my thanks to abhishek and uh, menak both the brilliant artists and same goes to you of course she's just saying that she just didn't she found the sitar out of tune and the bass was not good at all and she only liked the percussions and the kahun thank you so much sweta ji thank you so much i don't even believe me they don't believe me they think they're so good they <laughs> seriously bahut maza aaya and they can watch the show later on to know what i was basically saying so thank you so much for taking so much time हम आधे घंटे से चालीस मिनट करते हैं फिर एक घंटे और अब तो 68 मिनट्स हो चुके हैं सो so, लग रहा था अभी चले लेकिन अब क्या कर सकते हैं वक्त की पाबंदी है बट वी रियली थैंक यू सो मच श्वेता जी एंड आई थिंक आई मीन सेइंग फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस इट वाज इट वाज रियली एन अमेजिंग एक्सपीरियंस फॉर अस वी वर लिटिल स्केर्ड इन द बिगिनिंग बिकॉज ऑफ द टू मच ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी हैपनिंग अराउंड अस एंड थ्री ऑफ अस बीइंग टोटली टेक्नोलॉजिकली चैलेंज्ड so then again it's monty sen and uh, uh, shudip toy these two are uh, they've they've come in like angels and they've set up some lights and they've brought so many chords i i just knew guitar and music had chords these kinds of chords are even scarier so but they've done it for us so thank you so so very much monty bhai and shudip to bhai for helping us out and uh, it's really been an honor uh, performing for you and hope we can come back again sometime thank you so they need our thanks more monty and subito oh yes definitely yeah, thanks to them definitely, definitely. and uh, thanks to three of you but uh, ratul you must come and watch the show tomorrow because i, I want to tell the truth as well because tomorrow again we have fantastic uh, artists with us we have uh, lars monor joining us from denmark and sanjeev shankar is a special guest and thor madsen on guitar and jonas johansen on drums and it is uh, a brilliant um, a uh, music uh, setup that we are trying to bring uh, for the viewers tomorrow so please stay tuned do uh, connect at 7 pm on national cover page like the page stay connected stay tuned thank you ratul and team thank and you so much thank, thank you. you thank you so much viewers for watching enjoying the show we connect again tomorrow at 7 o'clock take care